Hi, good morning everyone and welcome to First Chinese Church of Christ in Hawaii on this March 26, 2023, the fifth Sunday in Lent. We welcome those who are joining us here today and also those from all corners of the globe. For visitors today, we have a visitor. Her name is Julie Ng. Can you please stand to be recognized? She's visiting from Florida. Welcome. Do we have any other visitors this morning? Okay, if not, let's please bow our heads in prayer. Life giver, come and revive us again. Let our souls awake to joy. We come boldly that you might breathe on us. May what we experience with you today change us forever and for the better. Amen. Before we sing our praise songs this morning, we want to wish a happy birthday to Manny. So we're going to sing happy birthday to Manny. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Manny. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Manny. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. It's, it's great to celebrate birthday to you, but also um, uh, in, your, in your prayers right now, please, uh, Newton kind of fainted, so. Uh, be in prayers for Newton. Uh, he looks all right. Uh, he just um, passed out a little bit. So either low sugar or a bit too high sugar. Please join us. We sing beautiful one. Wonderful. Wonderful, so wonderful is your unfailing love. Your cross has spoken mercy over me. No eye can see, no ear has heard, no heart can fully know how glorious, how beautiful. Beautiful one, I love. Beautiful one, I adore. Beautiful one. 
us come together as we sing thy word because everything rests on the word of God. Thy word. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. spirit for our opening hymn which is joyful joyful we adore thee which is number one in your red hymnal book
go to God in prayer, and this morning, we especially remember in our prayers, Lynette and Meliu, and members of their families. And you sing that beautiful hymn, Jesus, lover of my soul, let us go to God in prayer. Jesus, lover of our soul, let night and Meliu to thy bosom fly, while the nearer waters roll, while the tempest still is high. Hide them, O our Saviour, hide, and praise God, ye have done that. Till the more storm of life is past, and praise God, you have done that. And save, save into the heaven guide, and praise God, you have given that. Oh, receive, oh, receive their soul at last. Jesus, lover of our soul, console those who are grieving the loss of their precious Lynette and Meliu. Let them be comforted in the remembrance of your promises. Give to them who mourn peace in the midst of their tears. You are the resurrection and the life. We know and believe this. So now, now, Lord, we pray for ourselves. Oh, consoling one, you know our hearts and you share our sorrows in first Chinese. We are hurt by our parting from those whom we loved so dearly. When we are angry at the loss we have sustained, turn our grief to truer living. When we long for words of comfort, yet find them hard to hear, turn our affliction to firmer hope in Jesus Christ our Lord. And O oh God, who brought us to birth, and in whose arms we die, in our grief and shock, console and comfort us. Be pleased to embrace especially the two grieving families with your love. Be gracious to give the two mourning families hope in their and our confusion. Be kind to grant them and grant us your grace to lead them and us into new life. And we pause specially to, to pray and remember at least 25 people killed in Mississippi by the storm. We thank you for Newton feeling better. And we pray for Charles and Margaret and for the ways they show their love and discipleship. And so, Lord, when we were born, we cried, and the world rejoiced. Teach us, God, to live our life in such a way that when we die, the world cries, and we rejoice, because thou art thou of life, the fountain art. Freely let me take of thee. Speak.
Spring thou up within my heart. Rise to eternity, in whose words we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. This morning's scripture reading will be from Joel chapter 2, verses 28 through 30. And afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. This is the word of our Lord. May he bless our reading. Amen. Good morning. I w welcome. Welcome especially to our guests and those streaming. I I'd like to say First, caring. First Church is a caring church. And if you are thinking of having a home church while you are here, or when you visit Hawaii, please prayerfully consider First Chinese as a home church. And a small change in your bulletin, please know that the Monday Thursday service will be held in the sanctuary instead of in the uh, MPR because I was told that we are expecting up to 100 people, making it necessary to have our Monday Thursday service here in the sanctuary. And this morning we give thanks that we are able to look at one sentence from the moving passage we have read and heard. Your old man will dream dreams. And praise God, we get to look at and work out a road map to navigate our way through our immediate future, especially during our transition. And all road maps begin with a dream or dreams that take shape with the first step, as the Chinese saying goes, a 10,000 li journey mile begins with the first step. And so today, today I again invite you to work out your road map for First Chinese as you shape, shape up your future. And then how do you take the first baby step? And so let us begin by dreaming, dreaming your road map. What was the promise that God, through the prophets Noel, promised to Israel? Beautiful promise. I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old man will dream dreams, your young men will see visions. That's the promise. And so, do, do well excite us with your old man 
or dream dreams. Do you know there are societies in the world where members pay a sum of money for someone to interpret their dreams? And do you know that, say, in the 1960s and 1970s, the uh, Iban Christians Iban Christians are what people call the Dayak Christians in Sarawak, East Malaysia, had some problem with the uh, missionary leaders who did not understand their way of understanding dreams. And Iban church member will say, today I'm not going to work because I dreamt an axe fell on my foot, said uh, the missionary. Yeah, no, you are just too lazy, making your dream an excuse not to work today. But when the Bible was translated into Iban, the Iban members called attention. Hey, look. Dreams are all over the Bible and they play an important part. So how can you be little our dreams? And so this morning I cordially invite you to share your dreams for First Chinese during our transition. Share your dreams and old man or dream dreams. And the passage we have read and heard tells us God will pour out God's Spirit on all flesh to people of different ages as well as gender. And it shall come to pass afterwards. And the beautiful word there is afterward or in Greek, in the last days, a reference to the promised Messiah coming. At that time, in the last days, at that time, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And the word used again is beautiful. Shafak, not meaning merely drop by drop, drop by drop, by, by buckets, by buckets, like buckets of a copious rainfall. And therefore, the passage is so interesting because of four components there. The time in the last days, the blessing, promise, of old men, dream dreams, young men, seeing visions, the plentifulness and wide diffusion, meaning <laughs> unto all people. So just those few words contain a great deal. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And not only that, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days, I will pour out my spirit. What marvelous gender there, gender equality is there, gender equity is there, sons and daughters. What wonderful respect to age, old men and young men alike. Respect 
And here I take an analogy. Uh, just this morning, I, I, I saw on TV that the uh, March Grand Sumo tournament had a new champion. Kiribi Yama, actually he's Mongolian. And two things there. One, in terms of uh, the uh, race of the uh, sumo wrestlers, you may want to know there are quite a number of Mongolian wrestlers thought so good that they are feared. It is said, one, the Mongolians start to wrestle before they learn how to crawl. John Chung and uh, Norman, it is said Mongolian babies learn archery, riding on a horseback before they crawl. Uh, that's how good the Mongolian wrestlers are. But there in sumo, there is known as sumo tao, the Chinese word tao. Actually, we use that word tao too, logos. Sumo Tao is a code of respect, and I use that to connect with the respect to age that I've just mentioned. A winner bows to the one he has vanquished. He doesn't mock the one he had uh, defeated. The one who lost bows. There is no grudge. And therefore, this code of honor on respect illustrates very clearly in this passage with respect to age. And what marvelous reference to social status, servants, and handmaids alike. And praise God, this sentiment, this theology was strongly captured by Paul when he wrote, there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarians, Scythian, Bond, nor free, but Christ is all and in all. And therefore, this respect for gender is an improvement of uh, what early on in the book of Leviticus, where it is stated, you may want to look at the passage when you go back. Leviticus chapter 27. And this is how people were categorized. Male, 20 to 60 years, worth 50 shekels of silver. But female, of the same age were only worth 30 shekels. Gender discrimination there. Age discrimination is seen in male, and it applies to almost all of us here, male, 60 years and upward. We have been devalued from 50 to 15 shekels. And women, 60 years and upward, you too have been devalued from 30 to 10 shekels. So I like this passage from Joel affirming affirming strongly 
gender equality and equity and therefore appreciating what Paul has said yeah, about Christ is all and in all and so now now we return to our road map to see how Joel's prophecy gets to be played out in first Chinese and in our transition what do we do with those four components the time time of transition the blessing pouring of the Holy Spirit on us with this plentifulness and with a wide diffusion general distribution very generous distribution all flesh and so I begin by mentioning how we continue to assist those in physical and spiritual need the gospel that we share with friends neighbors strangers the gospel we share with them emphasizes both physical and spiritual need and I take two examples here professor Arya Pradeep was an Old Testament professor in the Bangkok Bible Institute and in addition to her teaching ministry in the Bangkok Bible Institute she was also an ordained pastor of the Church of Christ in Thailand she was single and she used her seminary salary to buy necessities to share with the urban poor who attended the small church she was pastoring a new church a small church far too poor to support her financially she shared simple necessities like eggs and rice with the urban poor in Bangkok she symbolized don't go to hungry people without a bowl of rice a cup of soup and a heart full of empathy provision provision is a key to lock out hunger and hate we are all God's people with a responsibility to be our sisters and our brothers keepers second example Chinese churches in Indonesia Malaysia and Singapore grew by leaps and bounds in the 1950s precisely because not so much of the pastors but because of the faithful Bible women who visited church members and prayed with them uh, two things there visit, um, who visited in Chinese we say Sun Ke uh, actually Sun Ke doesn't sound nice Sun Ke means inspect families yeah? but the <laughs> inspection is spiritual physical as well spiritual Bible women making sure the families they visited read the Bible prayed regularly but they also took care of their physical needs and soon they always included in Chinese have you eaten it was important they prayed it was also important that they had something to eat 
And so these Bible women were marvelous. They visited the members. So we have a naughty joke on uh, pastors who don't visit their members. Uh, you know, foot and mouth disease affects cattle, but not humans, as far as we know. But the joke rolls, there are pastors who suffer from foot and mouth disease, foot because they don't visit the members, mouth because they are only preaching their personal views and not the gospel. So the Bible women who visited the members did wonders. And in their own ways, and these Bible women symbolized, don't go to hungry people without a bowl of rice, a, a cup of soup, and a heart full of empathy. Provision is a key to lock out hunger and hate. And we, we are all God's people with a responsibility to be our sisters and our brothers, keepers. And praise God, that our road map also covers both spiritual and physical needs. And so in addition to and alongside of worshiping in first Chinese, attending Bible class, participating in women in worship, conducting archery classes, basketball clinics for girls and boys, and the list goes on and on. In addition to all these, first Chinese love offering has made our love gift a big help to many in need, indeed. We have in the hymn, in the hour of trial, Jesus plead for me. In the hour of hunger, first Chinese, feed me. First Chinese, in our roadmap, is a sacred place where many dreams abound and many people experience many happy moments when comforted, consoled by friends in my grieving, in my crying on welcoming shoulders. First Chinese is that sacred place I share my successes with many relatives and friends. And First Chinese is that sacred place where I am accepted and loved just as I am without one plea. And first Chinese is the spot where I bask in the sunshine of our Lord as the sun sets on us. And here the play of word <laughs> is missing. Sun, here is S-O-N, not son of my soul, but S-O-N, son of my soul. The sunshine, S-O-N, S-H-I-N-E, the sunshine of our Lord. As the sun, S-O-N, sets in on us. And it is said that we are most productive and excellent between the ages of 70 and 80 years. Studies show that we can use the two sides 
of our brains to function more succinctly and clearly. I'm not sure if these studies have been verified, but I do want to believe they are, they are or it can be true that we use both sides of our brains. MB, dexterity, is the word used. MB, dexterity, both. And may I say in uh, passing that the world is so unfair to the, uh, our left-handed people. All the gadgets <laughs> have been made for right-handed people. And you may also be aware that even the English language is stacked against <laughs> our left-handed friends. When you are left-handed, sinister is the word. Can you imagine that? You are sinister when you are left-handed. You are dexterous when you are right-handed. And so it is good that between the ages of 70 and 80, we begin to enjoy uh, MP, dexterity, both sides of our brains, we can expect to possess expensive knowledge and wisdom. And so, in a real sense, Paul said, be cheerful with joyous celebration in every season of life. Please, pay some notice to those few words. Be cheerful with joyous celebration in every season of life. Let your joy overflow and let gentleness be seen in every relationship for our Lord is ever near. And he continues, yeah? tell God every detail of your life. Then God's wonderful peace that transcends human understanding will guard your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. Keep your thoughts continually fixed on all that is authentic, honorable, and admirable. Going back to uh, Sumo Tao, respect your opponent when you win beautiful and respectful, pure and holy, merciful and kind. Honor your opponent when you lose. And in the words of our closing hymn, our road map, our road map commands us to affirm my faith looks up to thee, thou Lamb of Calvary, Savior divine. Now hear me while I pray, take all my guilt away. And oh, let me from this day be holy thine. May thy rich grace impart strength to my fainting heart and my zeal inspire as thou hast died for me. Oh, may my love to thee pure, warm, and gentle be a living fire. And describing a situation most of us know when life's dark 
maze I tread, grieves around me spread. Be thou my guide, bid darkness turn to day, wipe sorrow's tears away, nor let me ever stray from thee side. And please remember another hymn, Son of My Soul, has two verses resembling these two verses. Son of My Soul says, When the soft dews of kindly sleep my wearied eyelids gently steep, be my last thought, how sweet to rest forever on my Saviour's breast. And the last verse of our closing hymn, when ends life's transient dream, when death's cold, sullen stream shall over me roll, bless Saviour, then in love, fear and distrust remove. Oh, Oh, bear me safe above a ransomed soul. And in the hymn, Son of My Soul, abide with me from morn till eve, for without thee I cannot live. Abide with me when night is nigh, for without thee I dare not Die. And so our road map shows, and I quote, a life that goes on changing is a self that goes on living, a church, so I tweak, that goes on changing is a church that goes on living. Live then, live then, huh? for all of us, live, live in such a way that when we die, the world cries. We rejoice because thou of life, the fountain art, freely let me take of thee. Spring thou within my heart rises to all eternity and to God and God alone be all praise and glory. Amen. Hello. Please place your offering in one of our two boxes which are located behind the last pew near the center aisle. Let us pray. God is the source of our supply. Let us give from what we have been supplied. May this supply meet every demand. Amen. Light the fire again. Don't let my love go cold on holy hand. Light the fire again. Don't let my visions die on holy hand. Light the fire again. You know my heart's my deeds I'm calling out Light the fire again I need your discipline I'm calling out Light the fire again I am here to
for the singing of our doxology. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Divine Sustainer, receive this offering that we gladly give. May it be used to revive and restore those in need. Amen. You may be seated. Our announcements today. Mahalo for the altar flowers from Phi Barreto and happy birthday to Manny. Thanks to everyone's support. The Easter lilies have been completely sold out. A big mahalo for the generous support from everyone who donated for the one great hour of sharing. You may donate today as well. Please write on your check FCCC Memo Line OGHS. Also, Sunday school classes will not be held in the Founders Hall until further notice because the ratings on the second and third floors have been removed. K5 through 5 will receive, will meet in the multi-purpose room. The middle school will meet in the conference room. High schoolers will meet in room 102. Please see Karen Chang, the Sunday school superintendent, if you have any questions. Due to an ongoing repairs in the Founders Hall, it has been decided to temporarily relocate the preschool classrooms into the gym effective this week. The multi-purpose and conference rooms and the kitchen can continue to be used on the weekends and the evenings. 
leaders of the sports programs during the week will be responsible to limit their activities to the gym floor area only and instruct their participants to avoid contact with the preschool setup. We are requesting that children be discouraged from entering the gym area without continuous parental supervision. If necessary, we will need to restrict or cancel all sports programs and monitor all events in the gym. We are asking for your support and cooperation, especially during this time. Please follow the directions to keep safe. We want to thank you for your patience and understanding. Mahalo. FCCC will prepare a breakfast for the English and Chinese congregations before the joint worship service on Easter Sunday at 10 a.m. The breakfast time is from 8 to 9.15 a.m. in the master's gym. For logistical purposes, headcount is needed for our co-workers to prepare the breakfast. Please write your name on the sign-up sheet located on the Eva Lanai after worship service. The deadline to sign up is Sunday, April 2nd. FCCC Target for Christ Archery event continues today after worship services in the preschool playground until 2 p.m. Please bring your family and friends. The office will be closed on Tuesday, March 28th in observance of Prince Kuhio holiday. Next, we are asking for donations of fresh green palm leaves to march and decorate on Palm Sunday. Please drop off at the church on Saturday, April 1st. We will have buckets of water ready. Women's War Board of Missions 152nd Annual Meeting and Fellowship will be held on Saturday, April 29th from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m at the Central Union Church Parish Hall. Theme will be Great is Thy Faithfulness. Tickets are $50, which includes a savory lunch. Kindly see Karen Chang or Gloria Young for tickets. Deadline is April 15th, so please plan ahead. Also, please stop by our Eva Lanai directly after worship today or through April 2nd to confirm your contact information for the 2023 church directory. If you're already listed on the printed list, simply initial next to your name to confirm you'd like to stay in the directory. If your name isn't listed, please write your contact information on the pad and we will make sure to add or reactivate your information. You can optionally include your email address. An asterisk next to your name indicates that you have completed a church membership course. Mahalo for your help in completing this project. On Sunday, April 16, 2023, there will be a board meeting at 12 noon in the multi-purpose room. Okay, thank you. Please join us as we sing our closing song, They Will Know We Are Christians By Our Love. We are one. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we pray that our unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love. By our love, yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand. We will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand, and together. Yeah. 
each one's pride, and they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. All praise to the Father from whom all things come, and all praise to Christ Jesus, His own. stand for our closing hymn. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that makes us sing, joyful, joyful, we adore thee. And the love of God that makes it clear they will know we are Christian by our love. And the power, the fire, and the presence of the Holy Spirit light the fire again during this coming Holy Week and evermore. Amen. 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 Please be seated.
We are one. We are one. We are one. 